Hi, this is Felicia Villanueva reporting for Yonkers Voice. I'm here with Ashley Bruno with Blue Door Art Center located on 13 Riverdale Avenue. Hi, Ashley. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Really good. Thank you for being here. Thank you for accepting this interview. Um, let's talk about Blue Door's mission statement. Why are you guys here? What are you guys trying to do? In my own words, I would say it's a platform for expression uh, for the community, uh, basically locally and in the tri-state area, uh, to one, address and serve the underserved, and also expose Yonkers to a very diverse uh, and sophisticated and also developmental artwork. So that's what I can say. Okay, and uh, how do you do that? What type of programs do you offer here that allow you to, to do those things? Okay, broken down there are the programs and then there are the exhibitions. So um, let's talk about the programs first. Starting with programs, uh, workshops. So throughout the year, there are gonna be artists that want to share their craft and their skill and their ability to teach. And there are gonna be community members that wanna learn and get the experience in a supportive environment. So that's what workshops are about. And we wanna expand upon that, um, kind of coining artists teaching artists. So bringing it to the baseline of painting, drawing, um, even bringing in some more ceramics and wanting to expand upon that. And I know that a lot of that has been done in the past, but also um, performance. And uh, one of the, the biggest performance pieces is basically the poetry, the open mic community that actually started here, but has expanded all over Yonkers. And so that's really beautiful. Um, the other program is the children. So Blue Door has um, a focus uh, called Blue Door Kids, uh, which is about bringing children and parents right into the gallery, everybody together, the community getting to know each other, um, and children learning about art as young as possible, and then Blue Door out in the community and providing an art program uh, for organizations or schools that don't have one or uh, basically just needs that supplement. So that's what we're working on. Okay, great. And you mentioned exhibitions, and that's what we're standing in front of right now. Yeah. Um, how does the exhibitions work? I know there may be a lot of artists that are going to be watching this, and they may want to get involved, um, professional artists as well as community artists. And how do we get them in here, and how does it work? So the exhibitions work like this. Um, basically, they're a couple different categories. So you might find that there's a theme to the exhibition. Like this show is the inaugural show, actually, and it's a juried member show. So that was where all of our Blue Door members actually got to use the exhibition uh, as a showcase for them, showing their support, um, showing their artwork, and um, it was juried by Susan Holtzel, uh, who chose the art pieces and gave an amazing talk, and that was a really amazing um, opening that just happened, and uh, so you can go online, you go to the website, and you look into upcoming shows, look into uh, how you could submit to uh, the next exhibition, and um, you see the different themes, usually three or four shows ahead, you can see which shows are coming up, and you can submit your artwork, and the gallery gets back to you. There's also community shows. So every um, holiday season and every summer, there's a community show, and that is open to everybody um, to submit. Uh, so from you know amateur level artwork to professional artworks, uh, that's a really good experience for, for anyone who hasn't, uh, who has or hasn't shown in a personal exhibition or a professional exhibition. 
So if you're interested in submitting in the next show or seeing more information on that, you can go to uh, bluedoorartcenter.org. That's www.bluedoorartcenter.org. And you can also email info at bluedoorartcenter.org. And um, it's all laid out for you. And you do have a Facebook page, right? We do, absolutely. Um, we know everybody is just part of that social media right now, so you can find Blue Door Art Center right on Facebook. Okay. Um, so now, uh, part of the reason why we're interviewing Blue Door Gallery is because you are in our community, as we are Yonkers Voice, and you're in Yonkers. Uh, why are the community shows and exhibitions so important? In my point of view, I think art is a tool for medicine. Um, it's a teaching tool. Uh, basically, like it's been said, a picture, an image, says a thousand words. A piece of art is a great teacher. A piece of great art uh, can change a life and inspire the hearts of many, all ages, um, and allows an abstract expression of what's going on in this world so we can address everything from celebratory to tragic. And um, that's really important in our development. That's really important in our community development. And it's also really unifying. Art is universal. And so where we can, uh, like I said, a platform for expression, the visual art, performance art, music, it's a language that we all at the root can communicate on and that breaks down the barriers, social barriers, spiritual barriers, um, and brings everyone together, which is really needed. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That is basically why you should walk into Blue Door Gallery. Come meet Ashley. Um, I understand you have another opportunity for the community artist in any form also, can you tell us more about the quarterly journal and how they can get involved with that? That's actually really exciting because uh, that's something that just happened. The first issue came out in November uh, and the gallery was uh, blessed, or the art center was blessed to be able to get a grant for that. Um, really developing from our poet in residence, uh, Golda Solomon, uh, all the people that mentored with her, um, our former uh, gallery program manager, and um, Rachel McCain, editor in chief. And together, all these really amazing people came together with the help of the directors to develop the quarterly journal. And um, it's open to you, it's open to you to submit your writing. And um, Gold actually helps people develop those. So the next Art Speak is actually going to be here February 21st. What is Art Speak? Art Speak is a writing workshop um, where they usually do from page to performance. And honestly, I'm usually here sitting in the gallery since I started here for these Art Speak workshops. And there's usually a point where I can't, I just can't do anything but pay attention because by the time they get to that, that third hour, the expression of these works and we have 17 year olds writing so deeply even an 11 year old writing so deeply about clear awareness of what's happening in the world and then the adult community being able to express that so it's almost inter um generational it's 100 percent where everybody comes onto the same level and it's expressed in words and we're all learning from each other. Um, people are writing in different languages uh, and that's something that is, I think, a clear expression of what Blue Door is about is um, we want to see that. We want more people to come in across culture uh, being unified as one expression and we've seen it um, and it happens right here. It happens right here. So. Everyone should come to Art Speak if you have something to express in writing. And um, put your writing out there because you might be published in the journal. Okay, now the journal, I understand you can also submit uh, photographs, you can submit uh, stories and, and writings. And um, where do they submit these things to? Uh, it's open media. Um, you, can, you can start with sending to info 
at bluesartsandin.org and we'll get it there. Or you can also send it to um, Golda Solomon. So Golda at bluesartsandin.org will work as well. Okay, and the subject line, I should probably just say quarterly, quarterly journal. journal. Okay, um, so now I want to talk to you a little bit about what are you guys doing now. We're in the beginning of February. Uh, what does your calendar look like? Maybe someone's watching this right now and is saying, wow, okay, I would love to come visit Blue Door. What are they doing this month? Get ready for um, public art. Because if there's something that we are really planting the seeds for, right now it's the development of what has already been planted. It's about a nurturing. Um, one of the bigger projects that we ended the year with was a mural that um, our Blue Door community went ahead and painted at the Grayston Child Care Center. So we are building a collaboration with Grayston, the foundation and the Child Care Center. We're doing an after school art program and having those children be a part of painting that wall. We had an amazing mural artist come through who's still part of the community. And now we are expanding to uh, put more art on more walls, um, build a sculpture garden, uh, and uh, also be able to showcase Blue Door or people showing their art through Blue Door in different places in the Yonkers community and in the Westchester community. Um, and one of those things is about to happen. We're about to do a five-week exhibition at the Kanata? Katana uh, Gallery out there. That art community is actually inviting Blue Door to do a five-week exhibition, a showcase on site there. So that's another thing that we do is um, not only do the exhibitions here, but we might be doing an exhibition in a completely different building and it's Blue Door and it's another chance for artists to show their artwork and that community collaboration. We also have Hastings, a poetry bus, wants to park in front of this, this gallery and just throw down the art and project art on the walls and speak poetry in front of it. and. I actually found out about this at the last Art Speak, and so that was offered to us. And so now it's about that cross connection that we're making with the outer Westchester community, which has definitely um, been, let's say, encouraged by uh, one of our really dear sponsors, Arts Westchester. So really thank you to them. And so here at Yonkers, we can be kind of that downtown center source for a rising and, a, and a, a greater expression through the entire Westchester community at the center. Okay, thank you, Ashley. Is there, as we wrap this up, is there anything else that we should know about Blue Door Art Center for our uh, Yonkers Voice community? Come March 7th, where we're gonna have our next Blue Door Kids, um, that's basically children, parents, and everybody of all ages coming together. And actually, tomorrow night, we're going to have a, a Haitian dance teacher and drum teacher come here. What time is that? That's at 6.30. The workshop's going to start at 7 o'clock. We had um, just displayed a month-long pop-up exhibit of Haitian art called Spun in the Sand. And that's in convergence with a group called Indie Convergence, the Living Media a couple of friends of mine just went out to Haiti on Wednesday to get their hands in building a community art center from the ground up. And um, we were able to um, be part of that global movement just by showing artwork here and now bringing a little bit of Haitian culture right into the gallery, so come through. Okay, great. Thank you, Ashley Bruno. Thank you, Blue Door Gallery. Um, this is Felicia Villanueva with Yonkers Voice. Mm -hmm.